The secrecy and the hypocrisy and the loneliness that I knew because of my sin created a prison of bondage in my life that you can only understand if you yourself are right now in it or have been. And some of you have. I'm here for you. I'm here for you today. I'm here for the lonely heart struggling with same-sex attraction. I'm here for the girl who's just found out she's pregnant. I'm here for the couple that can't stop having sex. I'm here for you. Because I was you. The door to that present is opened by James 5.16. Confess your sins one to another and then you will be healed. When I confessed my sin to someone, God opened the doors of my prison and I began to walk in authentic Christianity. I was just playing country club before that. I wasn't known. The theology of grace comes to life not in our seminary textbooks but in the messy ugliness of our lives. And it is those of us set free by his grace that have a tender love and understanding of the rules. Modesty, purity, the respect and self-control of these things. We do not need grace if there are not rules. And if there are not rules, there is not sin. And if there is not sin, you and I don't need a savior. I have needed him so much. I have needed him so much to clean up the ugliest part of my life, to make me worthy of self-control and respect once again. I choose modesty and purity so that my life will say, look at God. The call to holiness is not the root of our Christian faith. It's the fruit of it. Father God, I just pray for these students right now and I pray for the broken ones. Lord, go to their hearts. Speak to them the truth of confession to another believer. Make this place grace-infused so that they can find the freedom that I did and walk worthy of self-respect and self-control. In Jesus' name I pray this. Amen.